Hey guys, Chris Grant here, and I want to show you how to use Storefront Stalker Pro. The first thing that I'm going to show you is what Storefront Stalker has always done. It's finding a Amazon seller and then stalking their store and finding things uh, that are profitable somewhere else. So let's say, for example, that you happen to be selling this uh, Paw Patroller. Unfortunately, I know exactly what it is because I've watched way too many episodes. So we go over here and we can see who the other sellers are. There's 67 new and or, uh, used and new sellers. And let's scroll down here. Amazon Warehouse Deals. Carolina Trader. Well, let's just go Carolina Trader. And we take a look at their Carolina Trader storefront. Oh, very good. This this actually probably be a pretty good one. So we go up here to Storefront Stalker Pro, and we click the little extension, and we click all ASIN from this seller slash page. Well, they have eight pages of ASINs, so this will yeah, only take just a quick second. And this is Carolina Trader. If you're watching this video and you're Carolina Trader, I'm sorry. So. Now, store, in Storefront Stalker Pro, you actually have three different ways to save the CSV file. You can save it in general, uh, which is going to offer, I think, the price and the ASIN and possibly a link. You can save it in tactile arbitrage format as well as OA X-ray format, uh, and you can do all three at the same time. So I'm actually going to do all three at the exact same time. And it'll save these for us. Save these to my desktop. There we go. Okay, so that's all finished up. So we can open these up and take a look. And then this one you can use for your own good if you're doing things by hand. Go out and search for these things somewhere else. But you've got a total of 193 different ASINs to go looking for. If you happen to use Tactical Arbitrage, you open that CSV up. And this is ready to upload directly into Tactical Arbitrage Reverse Search, and it will actually go out and look at all of the stores that they have for uh, that they have in their uh, in their program. I think I think they're up to 250. I don't know, but it's a lot. And they will go out and find all of them that are profitable for you, depending on what you put in your uh, cat or in your um, settings. And then OA X-Ray will do the exact same thing as well. Uh, gives you a list of ASINs as well as the cost. And I'm not sure how many stores that they uh, are able to look at these days. Um, just because I'm, I'm not a user. But they will, OA X-Ray will do the same thing and go out and find you where to purchase these items at a profit. So I hope that explains the um, Storefront Stalker Pro version of the original features and next we're going to get into some of the more advanced settings uh, oh and I actually wanted to show you one more thing if uh, if you're having trouble figuring out what storefront to go stalk go to this website market pulse marketplace pulse dot com forward slash Amazon forward slash USA this has a list of a ton of sellers and it is by largest to smallest of course that is based on feedbacks is that that's the only way that they can really figure out who is the largest or smallest so if you absolutely hate pharma packs there's their storefront you can go in and you can stalk the heck out of them and see if you can go up against them if you choose uh, but or you can even search that list if you want uh, there's all kinds of ways to, to mess with this. So it's marketplacepulse.com forward slash Amazon forward slash USA. And I will go ahead and put that uh, in my blog post as well. 
Uh, and when you have a second, go back to cleartheshelf.com and uh, check out all the other blogs we have and leave a comment for me. Thanks, guys.